Introducing the all new Corolla. It was standing room only at the Sinahanya Community Center last night during a Democratic Party of Guam meeting. Supporters packed the house in hopes of finding out whether or not former Governor Carl Gutierrez will be running for office again. Good evening, Democrats. You know, this, is, this is an unprecedented evening that I am attending right now. And I'm sure you probably know in your hearts too that this is unprecedented. Um, over the last several months, I know that uh, we have been pins and needles about what are we going to do to to move our party forward. Are we going to abandon it? Or are we going to all come together and figure out what this group really want and how our island should pro progress forward? The Democratic Party has been meeting for months now, trying to determine if someone would run against the governor, Eddie Calvo, and Lieutenant Governor, Ray Tenorio. Up until this week, it appeared that the incumbents would have no challengers. It was suggested in previous party meetings that potential candidates were scared of running against the Calvo Tenorio team because of the amount of money their campaign has at their disposal. Some have suggested that Calvo and Tenorio are an unbeatable team because this is the first administration to pay out tax refunds in a long time. I know that they want to go on the idea that I gave you your refunds. Well, you know, I'd give my re the refunds too if the legislature would give me the money. But they don't. It's easy to borrow $500 million and give it out. Come September, or October 1st, I think it's $98 million to start retiring the bonds. And as that progresses, we're going to look back and say, what did we do? Did we do it right? Although it seemed like he was already giving a campaign speech last night, he did not say for certain whether or not he would be running for governor again. This is the most difficult time in my life. I still have some conflict in my home. My wife and former First Lady Jerry Gutierrez has relented because she knows that she cannot stand in my way. I am 72 years old. I will be 73 this year in October. I will be 73 this year in October. She knows that I probably couldn't live with myself if I allowed to just let this party go into oblivion. I, you know, she knows that I cannot sleep at night thinking about that. It's unprecedented to see that the whole factions that I've seen already of the Democratic Party, those that hated my guts, are staring me in the face tonight. And I love it. I love it. That's why I feel so comfortable. I feel so comfortable and confident that there is indeed true unity for the first time in so many decades that I see here tonight. Although he didn't make it official, the writing was on the wall. So I'm looking at it very seriously. Mr. Gumatauto would be an ideal lieutenant governor running mate. He has acquiesced to the idea of him and I coming together as a team. He is now off island. He's coming back on the 18th. And as I spoke to some leaders last night, I think the one way that we can strategize this is tonight, each one of you pick up a petition and we come back on the 19th with Gary and we seal the deal. 